If Canadians needed any more proof that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is out of touch and out to lunch, his claims about somehow improving public safety by targeting legal, lawful firearms owners flies in the face of what is actually happening on the streets across our Great Dominion. Today, our national freeze on handguns is coming into force. From today forward, it is no longer legal to buy, sell, or transfer a handgun in Canada. Various police forces and associations have clapped back at Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's absurd tweet that implies that his ridiculous gun grab on legal firearms owners has somehow improved public safety. Earlier this week, Canada's so-called fearless and progressive leader took to social media to celebrate the anniversary of his handgun freeze. He proudly claimed that it stopped the buying, selling, and transferring of handguns across the country because nothing says progress like restricting law-abiding citizens while leaving criminals to their own devices. We choose your safety over the gun lobby every time, the post reads, but it didn't take long for local police forces, associations, and unions to clap back at Trudeau's ludicrous claim that his handgun freeze enhances public safety, which again comes in stark contrast to alarming increases in crime data and gun-related violence across the country, including a staggering increase and rise in homicides. As the Toronto Police Association fired back, criminals didn't get your memo. Our communities are facing a 45% surge in shootings and a 62% spike in gun-related homicides compared to last year. What impact does your handgun ban have when 85% of the firearms seized by our officers originate from the United States? Your statement is not only out of touch, but also offensive to victims of crime and police officers everywhere. Whatever you think you've accomplished in enhancing community safety has clearly missed the mark. The Surrey Police Union also chimed in. The federal handgun freeze fails to address the real issue, the surge of illegal firearms coming across our borders and ending up in the hands of violent criminals. Our members are on the front lines of gang violence daily, risking their lives to protect the public. How can we truly ensure community safety when 85% of seized firearms are traced back to the U.S. And the Vancouver Police Union also jumped on board, guessing he's not aware of the ongoing gang war here in B.C., which is putting both our members and public at risk on a daily basis. Where do you think their guns are still coming from? And what has he done to stop them? The York Regional Police Association snapped back with some cold hard facts. Very disappointing, their post begins. This statement doesn't reflect the reality our members face each day on the job. In fact, Statistics Canada Uniform Crime Reporting indicates an increased trend of incidents and victims of police-reported firearm-related violent crime. And their chart shows the steady increase since Trudeau's tenure. Another ex-user rightfully points out how Trudeau is followed by an entourage of heavily armed security. Thanks for letting all the criminals in Canada with smuggled unregistered handguns know that law-abiding Canadians are unarmed. Except you, they write. Have a listen here to what Vice President of the Canadian Coalition of Firearms writes, Tracy Wilson, had to say last month about the heavy-handed legislation continually brought forward by the Liberals. Nine years of evidence and data now to look at, right? So we've had an unfriendly, hostile Liberal government who's done nothing but just hit it to gun owners. At the same time, they've introduced both and passed both C5 and C75, which was legislation that softened and, and lessened sentences for some very serious violent gun crimes. So the results are in, and it's been a, a massive, bloody, tragic failure. Gun crime is up all across the country. Violence is up all across the country. We've never been more violent than we are now, and the evidence is clear and overwhelming that it isn't licensed gun owners. I think what Trudeau really means is that the two years ago, he made it harder for law-abiding gun owners to exercise their rights while doing absolutely nothing to hinder criminals. While legal gun owners face restrictions, the underground market thrives, allowing criminals to buy untraceable ghost guns from gun smugglers as easily as ever. It's a classic case of missing the target entirely, leaving the real threats unaddressed while putting the onus on those who follow the law. For Rebel News, I'm Tamara Ugolini. 
The Trudeau Liberals are being called the most aggressively anti-gun government in Canadian history. Tell them hands off of our guns at handsoffourguns.ca. Sign our petition and sign up to never miss a report on this topic. That's handsoffourguns.ca.